Oh, hey guys. So before I get into too much crap today, yes, it's December and I'm building for next year's Halloween. Um, I figured I'd start. I mean, I'm not putting up walls yet. I'm just working on basic stuff for now and that'll probably be the way it is for a couple months. But um, yeah, I'm starting working on pre-wall construction now. So wall construction should be pretty early too, relatively especially compared to last year because we moved here in the middle of June. Um, so, I mean, I, I will probably definitely be building by the beginning of my summer break, like putting walls up. I mean, I'll probably be doing some stuff back here, have like half of this scene filled out before then. But, okay, well, now to what I'm doing today. So, um, well, actually, let me, let me go through some Christmas stuff I got first because that's relevant to today. Um, my mom got me this handy dandy hot wire foam factory um, four inch hot knife crafters version so it cuts a little slower than standard but uh, or than the pro kits or the industrial kits but it's still nice comes with the uh, power supply for it and I the 26th I uh, ordered the free form carving one um, I'm not sure what the technical name is for it but if you've seen the videos, I know like Dave does hot wire stuff from Dead with Dave, um, but instead of just being a straight wire, it comes out the side, and then there's a wire that connects them in between and they're flexible so you, they can carve. And if you don't know what I mean, I mean, you'll see when I get it. So that's good. Um, so I got some foam. Well, I, I practiced on, I just had a little strap that I borrowed from my dad. Well, didn't borrow, I took. Um, practiced carving this rock thingy majiggy and uh, looks pretty good um, so just to get a feel for it the other day but I went to Home Depot today got uh, two sheets of foam I got this nine foot by four foot sheet of pink that I'm gonna use to make a uh, sign for the haunt and I'll have it foam coated oh and my mom got me uh, ordered me foam coat as well I think that's interior though so I'll have to order exterior for this but um, I'm gonna I gritted out the logo and so I'm going to grid this out and trace it on there with Sharpie and then carve it. But first I have to cut a foot off the side. Um, and then I also got this white foam uh, one inch that I'm going to use to uh, test out to see how hard it is to do bricks. Because um, I got, I might still be in my pocket. Yeah, I got, my dad has a Dremel tool, so I got a bit to use. And I'll just carve foam or carve the bricks with that because that should be a lot easier than going in with the hot knife um but so yeah that's that's what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to start off with this sign just cut the one foot off and then grid it out and trace it and i'll see how far i get but uh this is how i've organized in here i got a lot of junk up there still got that thing there still got this thing here haven't taken that down yet um still got like the drywall up from the barbecue shack, but I mean, I'll get to that when I use this space probably. And I got a bunch of things tipped over a bucket. Um, I got a bunch of building supplies here. And then all the static props too. Oh, also, my dad ordered me a boo box. It's not here yet for Christmas because he ordered it like a few days before Christmas. Um, but I got a boo box coming, or not a boo box, a peekaboo. Sorry, sorry, but the peekaboo starter kit. So, um, Basically same idea, just smaller. Oh. So yeah, I'm gonna start carving foam. All right guys, so here's an update. Got the end cut off and gritted it. Got the first three letters down. Um, my knees are starting to hurt because it takes like 15 minutes to do each letter to measure it out, like proportion it and stuff. Um, so it's getting a little annoying. I'm using that um, so my knees don't dent the actual sign, so. But uh, so I, I'll probably get through the creep and then uh, call it quits for now because it's it's starting to hurt. <laughs> all right, so there's the creep all done. Um, I'm probably gonna carve this and I'll see how I'm feeling because it's it's pretty cold out too. But I'll carve it and then I'll see if I want to move on and do the acres. But um, and there's that for comparison. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, that's really hard for me to hold it like that, but kind of, I mean, you can see. I did a decent job. The P, I think the E, I moved the three 
horizontal parts of the E out a little too far, so the P measurement wise wasn't quite right, so I just eyeballed it. So hopefully with the A, I'll get right back on track because there's the space between the P and the A. So I'll get back on track exactly proportionate to the grid. So I'm gonna carve it and then I'll see how it looks. All right guys, so I'm wrapping it up for today. I got creep carved out. Um, I'm leaving the centers in the R and the P. I'll carve them out later just so they don't get lost because they're so tiny and look useless if you don't know what they go to. Um, but also I'm going to end up with the cutouts from them, which I'll be able to use again at some point um, for something else. But this is looking really good. Probably tomorrow or the next day I'll add acres and then I'm still figuring out what I want to do for haunted attraction. But uh, it's looking good so far. Um, pretty, pretty realistic, I think. At least enough so for the sign. And um, again, I have to get some exterior foam coat because the foam coat that I have over yonder is uh, just interior, so it would wash away with time because this would be out for like a month and it sometimes snows in October. All right, guys, so it's a new day. I'm out in the shop. I'm gonna try out the Dremel bricks. I did, what, five layers here that I'll try and see how they turn out. Um, I started before that, I did the A, but then I got sick of drawing, so. Um, but I think this is looking pretty good, um, especially when it's cut out. And I still have to do the center of the R and the P, and then there's the A1 and the R in, the second R, the center thingamajigs that I'll cut out, but those will be glued on to whatever I put in the background. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try the Dremel. I'll let you guys know how it works, I guess. Hopefully it'll cut through that, uh, plastic, plasticky cover. Because the other side is metal-y, so, um, hopefully it'll cut through this. So I'm going to try it. I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, guys, so I finished the first five rows. Um, I need to pull the plastic off because it starts coming off, and that's where I have the ink written on it. So I need to pull that off, and I'll grit out the rest and do it. You can see, like, in here I started detailing with... Where did I put it? One of them paint scrapers. Yeah, here. Started scraping with these. These are, like, stiff wires for removing paint. And I went in and kind of detailed. I, I'm not finished yet, I just, when I came out with it, I did a few strokes just to see what it's like, but I really like that look. This is going to be really cool. So, uh, alright, I'm going to try and pull this plastic off from the top and then uh, probably do the rest of the brick. Alright guys, so I couldn't get all the plastic off, it was real thin and kept tearing, um, but I just gritted out all the rest of the bricks. I'll go through and do them and then most of it should be easy to pull off once I router it. But the lesson of the day was to pull off the stuff on the other side, the foil looking side, because that came off super easy. I wanted to try it out just to see and it came off super quick. So next time I'll just use the other side and screw this side, leave it leave it covered in plastic. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go through and routerify all of these lines. So yeah. All right guys, so I didn't finish the last like eight rows or so, but other than that, it's starting to look really cool. Um, I mean, this will be a heck of a lot more realistic than uh, this thing once it's all painted up. So uh, I'm really liking the look, I mean, Lots of good textures, and the bricks can be imperfect too, like they don't have to be perfect. Like wherever I messed up, I just made it look like I took a corner off the brick or something, um, and it was an imperfection in the brick. I'm thinking that I might do an all brick type facade that'll look like an old factory thing as part of the interactive, or as part of the queue line instead of, um, instead of the hillbilly facade and instead of having the hillbilly section first have like this industrial section first and then come in here and have like the creepy uh, fantasy type realm with all the rock carvings and stuff and then have the hillbillies at the end because um, I feel like I could have a better climax with the stuff that I already have because I can already build upon that and make it even better, so I might as well save that for the end. Plus, I like the idea of having the brick facade, the big industrial factory facade that uh, will be inside of the shop. And so I, what I would do is I would get, I would probably need like five or six more sheets. It would be 10 feet tall, so there would be a two foot extension on top. Um, and then I'll 
carved out and then I'll put when I carve the next sheets I'll put them up against this so I can see where the lines on this meet up carve that and then that way it'll look uh, nice and good once it's in place and then I'll probably wait to paint it and maybe even to uh, hard coat it until it's up and in place just so that um, you don't really see the seams but I think this will look really cool I mean I'll put like some fake windows and stuff in there um, but I'm gonna head in for now because it's starting to get dark and it gets cold in here when it gets dark so um, but that's that's looking good for now I'm really happy really happy with that look I mean and this is a ten dollar sheet of foam the white foam one inch thick is ten bucks whereas that's like fifteen so I'm really glad that the white uh, works for this um, but I just need to remember to use the other side because it peels off way easier but uh, all right that's it for now guys let me know what you think of both the brick and the sign for now. I mean, neither of them are anywhere near completely done. But uh, I'll probably upload this here at this point with uh, Build Days 1 or 2. As you can see I'm covered in styrofoam. I have probably a bunch on my face. The floor is a mess. But I'm probably not going to clean up because I'll be doing a lot more foam carving in here too. So, all right. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.